Hello friends, this is Jeff of Tau Flader Mouse. We took a 16 to 18 inch piece of solid copper wire, coiled it up so it'll fit into a 12 gauge shotgun shell. What will this do? We have no idea. Let's check it out. Okay, uh, this is a piece of copper wire about 16 inches long, coiled up, weighing about three quarters of an ounce. What is that gonna do out of a shotgun, is it gonna go flying? I mean, coming apart or stretch or? Well, let's see what that'll do. Let's shoot the TV with that and prove that the TV is, we can damage it. Okay, hit it. Wow. Look at that. So the TV's just not tough, or that you know, went right through that, right off the back. Those copper slug things are crazy. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, here. Wow. Okay, the copper round versus uh, the two by 12. Whenever you're ready. Went through. That works remarkably good. I mean, a piece of copper wire. Which one? Oh, that, that's it. Yeah, down there. There's something in there. Wadding or something. But, uh, yeah, there's something inside there. But um, this copper, that's, that's a winner, man. I, I, didn't, I didn't know if those would, like I said, expand out when it was in flight. Yeah. What kind of damage they would do, if they would just mush out when they hit, because it's copper's kind of soft. Mm -hmm. And it's just a, kind of a weak structure, but it drove right through that, this, uh, Two by twelve. It's actually about an inch and a half of wood there. Pretty impressive though for uh, a, a very unusual round. And it actually went through that too. That's a new hole. Yeah. Into there. We found it inside there. And that's what the copper coiled slug. I don't I have no idea what to call this. The flater hoosen. <laughs> it's copper. Um, that's what I I thought it'd be all mushed out. That's, that's after going through a couple layers of wood. That's crazy. Yeah. Very impressive, man. That's one of my new favorite rounds. Some crackhead's gonna steal that for a scrap now. <laughs> what would that do to the gummy bear? Let's bring. The, we brought the gummy bear, bear back out. What kind of crazy damage is that gonna do? You want to go for a headshot? Yep. Isn't you're that good. <laughs> Don't jinx me. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Wow. Right in the nose. And you were telling me earlier that you used to shoot an open sided a uh M16. M16 at how many yards? 800. 800 yards open sight. And what kind of grouping did you get? 8 inch. 8 inch. So we're not making that up. That, my friends, that stopped. I mean, can you ask for a better shot than a nose shot? There's the copper coil in there. Awesome shooting, awesome. I suck, that's why I have to bring a marine sniper sharpshooter expert, expert <laughs> something or another. But, uh, this is fantastic. The gummy bear, I think it surprised us again. Yeah. Um, big, goopy, nasty mess. But, uh, yeah, I think the deer slug didn't really surprise me. The, um, you know, the 45, I had an idea that maybe because it wasn't a, a hollow point, it would go through, you know. Yeah. But, it, but, I thought it would go right through the TV too. Yep. 
I don't know what that is. Piece of that's lead. Yeah, that's probably the deer slug. Deer slug piece. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was that was neat. Really neat experiment. These things are very tough. It's just a, a really dense material, much denser than ballistic gel. Much, much denser. It's starting to warm up too. So, uh, I mean, it was kind of room temperature when we started out. Um, but that was a neat experiment. Anyway, thanks, Matt, for uh, for your expert shooting. Sure. Everything, uh, everything. It was dead on, man. It was it was impressive. Thanks. That good. <laughs> Don't jinx me. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Wow, right in the nose. <laughs>